Dun da da da! The Daily Mail tutorials. Today's tutorial is the American flag. Okay, let's get started. First up, I got my Aldo CU and Ibiza for the blue. I've already painted my nails um, with a white polish. I've used Sally Hansen Extreme Wear and White On. It's like the coolest white polish I own. It's two coater. It's awesome. And it's super cheap. Okay, so first we're gonna draw the um, rectangular place of the flag where the stars are. Um, so I'm gonna draw that. Sorry, it's a little easier for me to get the line with this angle. Uh, so it'll just take a second. All right, so I'm just gonna fill it in real quick. Um, this blue polish is fairly, I mean it's a decent blue polish as far as opacity, but it's not opaque over the white, so I'm going to have to go back in a couple minutes and do a second coat to make it completely opaque. Next I'm going to rinse my brush with my trusty acetone, and I'm going to pick up my red polish, which is um, China Glaze Hay Sailor. And I'm going to put a little bit on my index card palette. Very expensive. Nothing but the best. Alright, so the American flag has seven red stripes. Four red stripes across from the blue, tri er, blue rectangle. I obviously failed kindergarten. I don't know my shapes. Um, four red stripes across from the blue uh, rectangle. I almost said triangle again. And then three underneath it. So I am drawing the three underneath it. Or I'm going to attempt to if my nail is wide enough. And the goal with this, if you're freehanding it, is to get them evenly spaced, which is pretty hard sometimes. So if you have nail striping tape, I recommend doing that. It will make your lines super crisp. Um, I do not have any nail striping tape, so I have to freehand it. So I'm going to start with the four uh, red stripes across from the blue section of the flag. This one's going to be tough. I didn't leave myself very much room, so they might be a little snug. The American flag has skinnier red stripes and thicker red stripes, right? I'm just joking. Alright, so I screwed up a little bit. Got a little blob on there. And the, the stripes kind of meld together, but I'll go back in a minute with some white polish and fix that right up. So not to worry. Red polish is impossible to get on nail art brushes. It drives me crazy. Alright, so I'm going over the blue with a second coat. So it's more opaque, so you don't see that white poking through. I'm just kind of outlining it again. And again, I mean, like I say in every one of my tutorials, if you get paint on your cuticles, it's not that big of a deal. We'll just take a flat, flat, ugh, flat stiff bristled brush and we'll clean it up with some acetone because acetone solves all problems. I am a firm believer that acetone could solve world peace. Okay, maybe not that. Okay, so I'm going to grab my uh, Sally Hansen white on and I'm going to put a dab of it on my palette. Okay, maybe two dabs. My brush has a stray hair. It's driving me crazy. You can kind of see it. I'm going to just pull it off. Alright, we're back. So I'm going to take the white polish and I'm going to kind of create a separation between the two wonky stripes. There you go. Semi-evenly spaced stripes. And now I'm going to draw a couple dots on the blue section to make stars. My nail's not big enough to fit 50 stars, so don't give me uh, any comments about accuracy, because I can't do it, man. 
Okay. So there you go. You got your American flag esque nail. And what we're gonna do now is, of course, what what else would any nail art girl do? Grab sesh, sesh feet, of course, and put a coat on top of that to protect your lovely American flag. And I'm going to grab my stiff bristled, um, stiff bristled flat uh, brush, and I'm gonna dip it in acetone and clean up the cuticles and get some of that. Um, paint that I got on, when, especially when I was painting the blue, because I was a little sloppier than normal when I painted the blue. Sorry. Yeah, we're almost clean. And there you go. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you want to see more crazy designs from pickles to pimples to warhols, check out thedailynailblog.com or follow me on Twitter at Daily Nail.